In this video, I'm checking out the features on the KitchenAid 13 cup food processor, so let's get started. The model that I'm featuring is the KFP 1319 model. Unfortunately, there weren't any dimensions shown in the manual or on the website, so I'll have to take my own measurements, give or take a centimeter. Let's measure from the back since it's the tallest part and it's 45 centimeters high. For width, measure from the latch to the handle and it's 24 centimeters. The base is the deepest, so let's flip it over and it's about 22 centimeters. And let's measure how high it is with the lid open and it's 57 centimeters. The food processor comes with a powerful motor. Unfortunately, I couldn't find out how many watts it is as it wasn't shown in either the manual or on the website. It has three process settings, low, high and pulse. And underneath the base is the cord wrap storage. In this video, I'll focus more on the features and how to use the food processor. In my next video, I'll be sharing the results of how well it processes different types of foods and I'll add a link as soon as it's available. Taking a look at the outside first, there's a nice large feed tube with a three-piece food pusher. The smallest one has a drizzle hole in there. And then there's this slicing knob for adjusting the thickness level of slicing. And I'll come back to this a little later. The lid latch is a nice chrome and looks very solid. It's not flimsy at all. When you lift the lid, you do hear a clicking sound from the hinge area. At first I did feel like it was going to snap, but uh, after using it a few times, I realized it's just the design of it um, because it's the same for the refrigerator storage lid. It's very easy to remove and insert the lid, just a simple pull and push movement. And there's also a sealing ring on the lid, making it leak resistant. Inside the work bowl, you'll see the dicing kit on top. Remove that by holding these finger grips here and you have these two little handles here to lift up and that'll let you take the whole storage caddy out. On the side of the caddy will be the upper drive adapter and also the lower drive adapter. And you're going to be using these two every time you use the food processor. I'm also going to pull out this dicing kit cleaning tool and we'll come back to the rest in a little while. Place the lower drive adapter onto the upper drive adapter and then place these on the drive pin in the work bowl. Next, take the dicing kit and if you turn it, it'll unlock and the top cover will open and you'll see the removable dicing blade inside. Close the cover up and twist it to the lock position and then insert it into the work bowl. Close and lock the work bowl, select the button setting you want and dice away. And you can press the same button or the off button to turn it off. And use the clean out tool to push any extra food through. Onto the slicing blade, use the two finger holes to hold onto it. Insert your food. I'm just going to use the large feed tube here and use the entire feed pusher to push this potato down for slicing. And I've done one in every size just to show you. Here is the zero size. This is the thinnest and the thickest is size six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. The reversible shredding disc is for thin or fine shredding on one side. Flip it over and you can do a medium shred. Attach the shredding disc onto the drive adapter. Insert your food into the food pusher and shred away. Use the multi-purpose blade to chop, puree and even mince. Again sliding it onto the drive adapter. And lastly, the dough blade for kneading. The work ball is designed to snap off and on. Just align the circles here with the raised buttons on the base until it snaps into place so there's no twisting needed. 
to store all the accessories in the storage caddy let's start with the multi-purpose blade which will go into the bottom here and it will attach magnetically on the top will be the dough blade and it is clearly marked storage side up so just latch it into these tiny little clips here next i'll attach the upper drive laying it down sideways here will be the lower drive adapter in this gap here. Next, the dicing cleaning tool will lay in this area here where you see these two indents. Just slide the tool in until it clicks in nice and secure. I'm just going to pick up the storage caddy and pop it into the work bowl before adding everything else on top. And if you're struggling to get it in, you want to line up these indents here on the storage caddy with the grooved line here on the work pole and you want it to slide on top of it. Okay, next add the slicing disc with the finger holes lined up with the caddy handles and you should be able to slide it down and have it leveled. Make sure that it's not tilted and that it's nice and level. Next will come the shredding disc. Again, making sure that it's nice and level and flat. And finally, the dicing kit. Making sure that the dicing blade is inside too. And twist it into the lock position. And you want to align the dicing side with the back of the work ball where this black bar is. And then we have the refrigerator storage lid, which you can add on top, but you won't be able to store it with the entire unit. So you can leave that off and just attach the work bowl lid and you can store the refrigerator lid elsewhere. So overall, it's designed very well. It's great that you can keep everything together. It is quite a big appliance though, and luckily I do have enough space underneath my cabinets for it to stay on my counter. It definitely saves a lot of cooking prep time, but it is quite expensive. But if you think about it, you don't need to buy a separate stand mixer or dough mixer, slicer and shredder and even a chopper so it's kind of like three in one but it all comes down to the space i think with this 13 cup food processor all right guys thank you for watching and i hope to catch you in my next video